is question 9, paper 1, 2011 Higher Maths. We're told that the discriminant of a quadratic equation is 23, and we've to decide whether these statements are true or false. First of all, we need to discuss real and rational what these terms mean. So let's look at a number line. There's a number line, the arrow showing the increasing uh, numbers. There's zero, there's one, there's two, and so on. Minus one, minus two, and so on. So this number line, you have to imagine that every single point in this number line represents a number, then that's all the real numbers. So this number line could be called the real number line. So every single point in this line represents a real number. Now some of these numbers are rational and some of them are irrational. Rational numbers can be written as an integer divided by a non-zero integer. So this is an integer and this is a non-zero integer. Now integers are just these numbers that I've marked up here, 0, 1, 2, or negative 1, negative 2, and so on. These are the integers. So you can see that these really, we normally call them fractions, but there's a whole load of numbers in there. For instance, 2 and 1 half, because that can be written as 5 over 2, minus 1 third uh, is also a rational number. Uh, we could have 1.3, because it's 1 and 3 tenths, which is basically 13 over 10. Uh, an integer divided by another integer. So there's all sorts of different ways of writing these things, but basically they're the fractions, positive or negative. We cannot divide by zero. That's uh, the first commandment of mathematics, thou shalt not divide by zero. You just can't do it. So rational numbers, one integer divided by another, a non-zero integer. Irrationals, everything else things that are not rational. So we have things like pi, we have things like the square root of 2, we have things like the sine of 2 degrees, we have things like the cube root of 8, etc. Uh, that's not true because that's 2 and that would be a rational number, 2 over 1. So that's not a good example. Cube root of 9 would be irrational can't be written as a rational number. So there we have it, two types of real numbers. Now all real numbers are either rational or irrational. There's no other type of real number and all the real numbers can be represented by points on this real number line. So let's now tackle this question. Discriminant of a quadratic equation is 23. Here's any quadratic equation. Now, for the purposes of this question, we'll assume that a, b and c are integers. Remember, we talked about integers, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. These are the integers. So, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Solutions of this, you will remember, x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. 
Now, that's the quadratic formula. This is the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. You're told that's 23. So we've got minus b plus or minus the square root of 23 over 2a, which means that we have two solutions. x equals minus b plus the square root of 23 over whatever 2a is, or x equals minus b minus the square root of 23 over 2a. Now, remember we said that a and b and c, you can assume that these are integers. This is an integer, this is an integer. Now, we certainly have real numbers minus an integer plus the square root of 23 divided by twice an integer. The same thing with a minus in there. We could work that out in a calculator if we know b and a, and we certainly would get a real number. We get an answer for that. So we've certainly got two real numbers. Now, whether or not they're rational, we have to have a look at root 23. Now, root 23 is not a rational number. It cannot be written as one integer divided by another. Uh, root 25 would be okay as a rational number. That would be 5. In other words, 5 over 1, one integer divided by another. But root 23 cannot be written like that. It is an irrational number. So whether you add and subtract integers, then divide by integers, that will not make this rational. This number is going to be irrational. So is this. So we've got the roots are real. They're certainly real numbers. The roots are rational. That's not true. So we have one is true. They are real numbers. Two is false. They are not rational numbers because of this root 23. So let's just look at the choices. Neither statement is correct. Only statement one is correct. Only statement two is correct. Both statements are correct. Well, we've established that only statement one is correct. The other one is false. So choice B is the correct answer. Choice B.